Farscape Engineers Inspector Summary Video. We're here in Oakland. Uh, this is the Farscape number two. Uh, street is uh, 24th, right? 24th. Yeah. All right, first thing I want to talk, what do you, what's your concern here, sir, on the windows? Well, there is not an egress. This is not a proper egress. First of all, it's out of the bathroom, and then all as well this. So this looks like somebody modified this room. Um, or this whole window system has to come out and they're gonna have to make a uh, if the city official this, so this is pre-existing non-conforming and the city official is gonna determine uh, but most likely he's gonna want what's called a, an, uh, a window that's uh, almost like a door what do you call that uh, I forgot the name but it's not it needs a proper opening here so that people can get out onto the fire escape okay what else did you notice about the rail okay so we have well first of all we have a lot of original hardware yeah and this in particular is not bolted, is not, or well, it looks like it was through bolted. Somebody cut the inside or a rod around the inside because it used to have a plate, so the through bolt is gone on this one. Uh, what is what's your concern on the, on the platform here? Okay, so there's a lot of rust on the platform again, it's uh, original hardware, yeah, a lot of rust jacking, a lot of rust jacking. There's it's been painted, yeah, they keep painting over the rust though, they, they don't fix it, they keep painting over all the rust, the rusted areas, right? Yeah, you can see it's just ready yeah. to come off, yeah. Okay, so the, uh, your life safety concern here then is just going to be the fact that these windows, you can't get out. So uh, the front had some life safety issues, this one has life safety issues, and primarily it's access for this one. It's important, but this is not, this is not a, a concern for life safety. What about this ladder going up and over? Okay, so it looks like this is original hardware. So yeah, so hard that's... Yeah, so it's probably on the roof, but the so but these don't look like they need to be tested, low tested, or we can swap this out and avoid the low test. But again, corrosion down at the very bottom there, so a lot of rust jacking happening in and around all the corners got rust jacking. So for sure, you know, majority of this fire escape is going to get rebolted anyway. No welding, right? Because we got lead, mm -hmm. we got lead based paint, so um, and we got to close up all these stupid little holes here because what's what's happening? What's it doing? Well, there's rust forming in here. Yeah, it's getting water, so. This is a riveted rail, so water's getting in there, doing some damage, so we gotta close this up with silicone and, and repaint. Okay, and uh, an original hardware there, but that's also got uh, this suspect because it's got rust jacking happening on that side, right? That and the other side also, rust jacking on the other side. So it's gonna need general maintenance. Yeah, yeah, swatch, swap out the bolts, okay. okay. All right, so, so um, and uh, that we're going to get down, we're going to start another video, but that ladder doesn't go complete to grade. It doesn't have a, either a, a drop-down ladder with weights or it doesn't have a... So we need to reconfigure that and figure out what needs to be done because they can't jump. The code doesn't allow you, allow you to jump the ground. You must bring them all the way to the ground, so we need to bring that up. It's a pre-existing non-conforming, the city official, if you want to allow that as a, a grandfathered-in situation, but uh, the code requires everything to grade. So let's pick up another video once we go down. Firescape engineers inspect the summer video part two. So Sarah, what else? Uh, okay, we have, you... have, we have the same observation here, a lot of uh, rusting. Rust jacking happening here. Rust jacking. We have original hardware. Yeah. That on the ladder. On the ladder. The, the, the corner. What about that corner? The corner. corner is gone, right? The nut is gone? Okay, the nut is gone on that one, so that's not even properly vaulted. Yeah. Let's look up. You see the underneath, so all the rust jacking is happening underneath there. And primarily towards the front, but the sun has kind of blocked my ability. But there's rust jacking happening on the front of all these, so that all needs to be cleansed. We got to put it back. It's all riveted, so we're gonna have to. Once we cleanse these, we can't weld these back because of the lead paint. But you gotta just bolt it back uh, on all. What about the bars? You want to deal with the bars? All the these bars are okay. It's just they're just minor, minor structure. Minor structure. Confirm, yeah. confirm that they're in good order. And then we need to verify all the connections back into the wall because the one upstairs is gone. Right. And these all need to be verified or duplicated. Okay. Otherwise, it's original hardware. Same situation. Somebody might have cut it. What's your concern about this window? This window, same business. You can't fit through it. And then right in front of there is a toilet. So okay, so you cannot get it out. So it's, you so. can't use the bathroom as a, as a means of egress. So this looks, looks like somebody put this in here after the fact. Could have been a closet, but uh, not common for, for this. But again, the city official will be made aware of, and he has to determine what he wants to do. What do you want to do about that ladder? What's your problem with that ladder? Oh, that ladder does And we have a the step ladder there. So code requires complete to the ground. 
So they could have installed. They could install here, but they can no longer as the the accordion ladders. So they don't allow. This ladder can be retrofitted with a slider so that it goes all the way to the ground with weights. Um, or we can reconfigure and fill this in and have a staircase complete the ground there. But again, that will be with further discussions with the city official mm -hmm. and the owners. But uh, he has to determine whether or not people, that, I think that's eight feet, nine feet to jump, right? Oh, yeah. A little bit dangerous. Okay. And all original hardware up there too? All original hardware. Through bolting needs to be verified or you have to load test it? So, load testing, about how many pounds you say, Sarah, that we're going to need here to, if this thing is going to get load tested? Mm -hmm. After you fix all the obvious, you got a 4 by 5 that's 20 square feet? I was, I was going to say about 2,500 square uh, or what, 50 bags. I yeah, so this is about 2,000 square feet, uh, so 50 pound bags, you need about 40, 50 pound sandbags here mm -hmm. on this floor and in that floor if you're going to do those, the load test. But if you refurbish all of these... Uh, fasteners, which the majority are going to get refurbished anyway, there is no load test. So, uh, and uh, typical for the West Coast, um, a lot of times the rail, the bracket, and the lower part of the bracket is all through bolted because of the seismic concerns that they have, okay? But this is all rust jacking here, the flats are all, so this is, and you can see, you, can you put your finger down there and, and you can actually put your... Oh, yes. Can, oh, yeah. You can There's... put your finger in there, right? Yeah. Your pinky gets in there, so... A lot of rust jacking happening. Firescape has been painted, so it doesn't need another paint job. You can repair and spot paint. Uh, and then you got a silicone every joint that you can. There's a lot of water. So uh, the way you stop this is after you cleanse it, prime it properly. You silicone shut every joint you can, you can find to basically stop the water from getting back in there. And she's going to be good for many, many more years to come. Okay? Any questions? Firescape engineers, inspect the summary video, 866 649 0333. 866-649-0333.